Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Three Boxing Podcast. We are back uh, with uh, another edition of Quick Hits. Quick Hits comes at you every day, eight to ten minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. We got a great show today. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Also, our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It's near and dear to our heart. Uh, please help us get that monetized up and running, uh, guys. Um, let's get into today's show. Uh, it's going to be a good one. Um, Shakur Stevenson, Jamel Herring, uh, for Herring's WBO 130 pound title. Um, I'm gonna give you a preview and prediction of what, what we think is gonna happen in this fight. Um, Jamel Herring, current WBO super featherweight world champion, um, and an Olympian. Um, Shakur Stevenson, former 126 pound world champion in the WBO, also, um, an Olympian silver medalist. Um, both two medalists, Stevenson won a silver and Harry did medal. Um, so that's you know, you have a New York guy and Harry, Long Island guy, and a Newark, New Jersey guy. So instead of putting this fight in Madison Square Garden, which would make perfect common sense, and I have no idea why they didn't, um, they, they put it in Atlanta for reasons I, I don't really follow. I, this thing would have been hot in, in, in Madison Square Garden. Obviously, um, obviously fighting in um, Atlanta makes zero sense, but you know, it's what it is. Um, but it's a great fight. I, I, I'm excited to have this fight. It makes a ton of sense. Um, again, this is high level boxing, high speed chess, high level chess at its absolute best. Um, I think Herring established himself. I think Herring showed you something in that Frampton fight. Uh, he's a little bit more of a boxer puncher as opposed to just a pure boxer um, because he can't. No one. I think Shakur Stevenson, as it comes to just a pure boxer, uh, I think Stevenson's probably the best in the sport. I know he hasn't really proven that yet, given his level of the competition, but the skills are and the, and the reflexes are insane. He's so difficult to hit. Um, and I think Herring establishing himself, getting a knockout, establishing himself more as a boxer puncher in that last fight, he's gonna he's gonna come out aggressive in this fight. I think he's gonna use that. Um, he's gonna come at uh, Stevenson. I think he's gonna test Stevenson in a way he hasn't been tested with yet. Um, I think. You know, Herring is going to do well in spots. Again, this guy is so difficult to hit. I think this is going to look like a, a little bit parts of De La Hoya and Mayweather where De La Hoya, a great boxer, came out more aggressive and, and, and took the fight to him, tried to back him up against the ropes. I think you're going to get that strategy out of Herring. Um, I think Herring um, – but Herring can outbox anyone, right, except for this guy. And, and that's the thing. You can't really outbox Stevenson. Um, Stevenson's skills and his reflexes and his speed are, I, I think, the best in the sport. So you're going to have to do something different. And I, I think Herring understands that. Um, and I think he's going to push him. But what, what do we get from Stevenson? You know, that's a great question. You know, we know what we get from Stevenson. I, I, I think Stevenson may lose some rounds early. Uh, but once he gets it figured out, once he gets it going, I, I think he's going to nullify the aggression of Herring. I think at some point this turns into a pure boxing match, a battle of jabs and movement, and Stevenson wins that. I think Stevenson will, will land some right hands um, and, and things like that. I mean, some left hands. I, but um, I, I don't really see what Herring can do to win this fight. Like He's going to he's gonna have to come out and be the aggressor. And I think Herring, you know, Herring, Comes down. He cuts a lot of weight to make 130. He started at 140. He's come down to 35. And now he's at 30. Where he sees Stevenson, who is um, comes up from 26 to 30, even though he was a giant 126, but giant featherweight comes to 130. I think Herring looks at himself coming down to the weight and Stevenson going up to the weight. And he sees himself as the naturally bigger and stronger guy. And I think he's going to try to impose that. Um, and I think he says, okay, Stevenson, although Stevenson's 3 0. As a, as a super featherweight, he hasn't beaten anyone of note. Uh, the best one he's got, I guess, is Tokakon Clary, which, again, decent fighter, not setting the world on fire. Um, Clary is what he is. Um, 
but I, I, I think that's the dynamic we're gonna get. Um, you know, I think Harry believes he's the biggest rookie guy. He's gonna try to use that. He's gonna try to bully him around a little bit. He's gonna try to be the bigger man in the ring. Where Stevenson, um, and I want to point something out about Stevenson's skills because I keep saying the best. Stevenson has fought three fights, 28 rounds, right? 12, 10, and a six round knockout. Three and oh, one knockout. He's fought 28 rounds as a super featherweight in his last three fights. He's not lost a round on a single scorecard. He's won all 28 rounds on all three scorecards since he's moved up to 130. That's how incredibly gifted and how good his skills. And I know the competition is not the best, but to throw shutout after shutout, I mean, th- that's impressive stuff. A- and I-, 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 I do think Herring's a great fighter. He's, this is, he's not better than Stevenson. And I'm rooting for Herring. I'm pulling for Herring. I just don't see how he can can win this fight. Like, he might be competitive. He might do well in spots. But, you know, both guys are, are boxers. And Stevenson's the better boxer. So Herring's got to kind of fight out of his comfort zone, which he showed he can do, to beat, um, to beat Stevenson. It, I, I don't see it working that way. Stevenson's too sharp. Um, unless he can pull Stevenson out of – you know, out of his game plan and get him to slug with him, which I don't think he can because he's just so difficult to hit. He's so elusive and he's, his reflexes are so quick. You know, in order to get Stevenson into a slug, into a slug fest, and again, and Stevenson's not a big puncher. You know, that, uh, Harry's not a huge puncher. I know he got that's a good knockout. He got in front of it, looks good, but he's not a huge puncher, right? He usually wins on points. So I don't know that he's the bigger puncher than Stevenson, if we're being honest. He probably is. Um, so I don't even know if a slugfest suits him well, right? Like, it's just difficult. And it's not a knock on Harry, Harry an excellent fighter. It's just that Stevenson right now is different. Um, Stevenson, it's level, his levels. And, and Stevenson is just so gifted. So I got Stevenson on points. I think it's 116, 112, 117, 111, something like that. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, predictions below. Uh, please like and subscribe. Also to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene or Pro to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, please like and subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Um, it, it is October 22nd, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.